Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Inside the house. <laughs> layers of this stuff. Off. I guess it's technically open box now. It was almost six months. I'd almost given up hope. And the funny thing is, is that dealer called on Thursday afternoon and he said, I hate to say this, but no warning whatsoever, they just showed up at the loading dock. All right, this is the Macintosh 1502 owner's manual. I already have that on PDF, won't be needing it. Let's throw that here. This is a nice way that all this boxing comes out. So first thing will be this, top, warning, to avoid a fire hazard the foam insert over the vacuum tubes must be removed prior to connecting the AC power cord and operating this product, refer to owner's manuals. I guess they had to provide the least common denominator on that, power cord, put it down. I think the way this goes is it's just like a stack of these. Mm. And then the amp itself is sitting in these two styrofoam feet. So let's approach this. Create a little bit of space. Let me get this box out of here. And let me take these out as well. The tool. Yep. This is the binding post tool. I already have one of those for the MA8000 that's been here since. Okay, and now we get to see, um, yeah, I wanted to take a picture of this. Alright, the problem with these amps is the back side, this is where the transformers are, and it is the heavy side of the amp. Oh my goodness. Very heavy. do is
you want to stop filming? And I can help you? Yeah, that'd be good. I'll cut myself off. Oh, no. Here, do you want to stop, stop it? Stop, stop it. I'll just set those right there on top of the 8,000 and come on now, there you go. This is the second one on top of it. This down and now this cage should lift right off. This is the, this is the cage for it and Is this? Okay, so all the tubes are pre-installed in this is what she looks like. Okay, so the next step is, is let's get it all hooked up and get it turned on. See if we get some power. Let's take a look and see how this sounds. So what we're going to do is kill it right now because I have to rewire. I got to run some power cords and all kinds of boring stuff. All right. We'll see what it looks like. The M8000 is already on. I'm using this just as a preamp now. This is a 300 watt per channel integrated amplifier. So I just have the jumpers removed and now it's only on in preamp mode. So let's see. And has the warm up. Good, so she's functioning, ready to go. So we'll give this thing quite a while to warm up. Say maybe give it something in the neighborhood of about an hour to get up temperature. I'm gonna run it all weekend for the rest of the day, overnight, all day Sunday, all day Sunday night, turn it off on Monday morning when I go to work. I wanna start breaking it in, get some hours on these tubes. One of my two turntables, my two SACD players, the MA8000 is now operating in preamp mode. Six months of waiting for the MC1502 is finally over. It's here, it's hooked up, it's functioning. I gave it a quick spin listening a few minutes ago. You know, copyright being what it is, I don't want to put any of these artists on YouTube just in case I get a takedown notice even though I don't have any videos up on my channel and it's not monetized. Why would anybody give it down without me? I have absolutely no idea. Anyway, that is it, people. Thank you very much. Peace out. We'll be back.